What I'd like you to do now is to redo this exercise, but replace everything that you see here that is anonymous inner class with lambdas. And so you'll see that the code will shrink dramatically, which is what we want. And then we're going to review it just one time before we leave today. So just go through this brief exercise. And the way I want you to do this is just comment out the old way and just write in the new way with lambdas. OK, our goal now is to redo this exercise using lambdas. So let's look at this together. And we see here that we are not going to need this method anymore. So I'm just going to delete it. And we're going to reuse this method. I think this method is pretty much OK as it is. We don't need to do any conversions for lambda. Let's look over here at this part right here in this comparator. And instead of using this comparator like this, we can simply code this either as a lambda or we could put the lambda directly in here in line. Either way is fine. Since I've already got this written, I'm just going to replace this part right here. So I'm going to comment this out. And I'm going to create a lambda expression. And I'm just going to say d1, d2. And I'm going to use the lambda operator here. And I'm just going to. And I'm going to run this again to make sure it's still working. And you can see here is the original list of dogs. And you can see that after sorting, use my new lambda-based comparator. It's working great. And now the last thing I want to do is I want to go in and replace this uh, predicate. Sorry, replace this. Uh, so here I can just say. And now all this code will simply disappear. Now I just want you to notice how much cleaner it is, how much shorter it is, and how much easier it is to read. So I'm able to print conditionally now, and on the fly, I can tell it exactly what behavior it needs to use to decide whether to print the dog or not. It's a simple one-liner. And now this is going to get passed over to this method here. And that's going to be used now to decide which dogs to print. So let's run this one more time. And you can see that it still works perfectly. So hopefully after you've seen this, you've become convinced that lambdas are worth your time to learn because look how short the code is now to accomplish everything we have. I have one last question before I release you for today. And that is, do I need this method? How could I get rid of it? Think of it like this. I have a specialized method that knows exactly when to print. Why do I need this one anymore? What would I do instead? Please discuss. So as your final puzzle of the day, the question arises is, can we get rid of this method altogether? And to do that now, we have to find some other way to print all the dogs here and here. And so what I would like to know now is, what can I replace this call with so that all the dogs will get printed? OK, so I'll give you a hint. I'm going to call print conditionally here because that's the only other print method we have. And I'm going to call that over here also. And this time, sir, I need to still tell it what to print and how to decide what to print. So here, look how, look how I passed it this predicate over here that told it that basically all, only print the dogs that start with the letter B. What should I pass it over here this time? OK, if I go like this, let's go like this, like what you suggested. Sir, is this going to return a, a Boolean? No, it needs a Boolean. So in here, I need a Boolean expression right here. So I just write it like that. So now what's going to happen is that it's going to take each dog and it's going to not do any kind of processing at all, but simply return true all the time. And so as it goes through this process here, the test will always pass. And so every dog will get printed now. So let's run that. And you can see now it still works just as before. So now you can see that through the use of these lambda expressions, I can continuously make the code shrink.